Yes. Finally leveled the plan fear. Never trust the sus. We define what's real. Shuffle shit to losses. You know the deal. It was never an option. The missing men. It was never an option. Skip a bit. Got low. Mindset of a Navy sit. Took my queen off the board. Now we move freely. So you want let's let's go on and just get into this, man. Let's go ahead and start talking about this. Let's start with, you know, let's give the people some excitement. Let's talk about the Eagles. Man, now Fred, before the I'm I'm before the season started, right? I had high hopes for Jalen Hurts. I kept saying it all last year that if he could put it together and he had some weapons around him, they started running the ball towards the, the I probably say towards that quarter of the season last year when we realized we didn't really have no receivers. You know what I mean? So we started doing that and running the ball effectively to the tune of being the best rushing threat in the league last year. And everybody has continuously said, Pratt, as long as Jalen Hurts puts it together through the air. And he's doing that. And he's doing that like in droves this year. And he's using his feet. So I, I'm just, he's in the MVP race. Could you imagine that at this point last year saying that Hurts would be in the early MVP running? I know it's just three games. I know it's just three games, but his stats rival MVPs. In the league, it's better than Aaron Rodgers in three games. It's better. It's better than than Lamar's. You know what I mean. So he's doing something right. You know, Josh Allen right there, right there on par with numbers as well, up there in the top three in the scoring offense in the league. So and he's making it look effortless. And this is things that people have wanted him to do since college, since Bama, since Oklahoma. And he's a natural born leader. So I'm. I'm glad that it's finally coming together and he's putting them balls in places to where only the receivers can go up and get them. And boy, does he have great receivers in, you know, our man Smith. And then man, in that addition, boy, AJ Brown, boy, that having that big grown man body just to be able to shield people off and just give you quick little slants and to be able to do exactly what you want. Devontae to do on the Raiders, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. You know, if he had a quarterback that can get it to him. Right now, be happy. Okay, I mean, just if he had a quarterback, <laughs> let me let me get it back on me because you don't deserve to shine. Listen, uh, so I'm, I couldn't be more elated, man. Like I'm watching the game. The games are over early into the uh, the second quarter in these first three games. Granted, we are taking care of business. We taking care of teams that we're better than. In the past, we've struggled with teams that we're better than, but right now. This this first this last game against the Commanders was the first time I saw them put it all together throughout all four quarters. I stopped counting at maybe eight sacks, Perez. They was getting to they was getting to Wince W I N C E at will. You know what I mean? And that line was atrocious by the Commanders, so they got to do something like that. Or you know, fragile Wince ain't gonna stand up. I know per, we know personally that he ain't gonna stand the whole season if they keep letting him get hit like that. That you know, I felt I, I shed a little thug tear for him at a certain point in that game, but yeah. In all facets of the game, man, special teams, defense, um, the uh, that D-line press, that D-line is doing their damn thing. Best D-line in the league, hands down. Best offensive line in the league, hands down. So that's why he's having that time to look around, do what he needs to do is because the offensive line is just giving him that time. And I, I can't be more proud of, of this guy being able to, in year three, really, year two, put it together and just really kind of go on this run. We're looking like 2017 again. I feel like we're going to be the chance. Barring a catastrophic injury to Hurts, possibly, you know what I mean? Or one of our star receivers, man. And, you know, he's he's just now cooking, man. He's just now cooking. He haven't even really got started with Dallas Goddard or anybody else. And, um, you know, shut down corners, Press. We have shut down corners. Hey, Slay. We have shut down corners and Bradbury's doing, he came in and is doing his thing. Our safeties are assuring things up. I mean, we only gave up like maybe one, two big plays. And that was like maybe mid third quarter. You know what I mean? When the commanders uh, went ahead and got that score. But I mean, if we wasn't running the ball and playing it safe and not really trying to get hurt or run up the score, man, that, that easily could have been 40 points out there because they just couldn't uh, defend it after a while once we found those little pockets um, out there uh, for Hurts to throw to. So, yeah, I couldn't be more excited, man. All all sides of the ball, man. Sure tackling, like, everything that has worried an Eagles fan for the last few years when we've been up and down since that championship win. <laughs> since that championship win, I repeat. Um, you know, 
I don't have no doubts that we could play with anybody in the league. I don't care what quarterback. I don't care um, if you're talking about if Tampa's healthy, if Green Bay, like, I, I just don't see it, man. I just don't see this defensive line and that, that secondary not putting hats on Tom Brady often. You know what I mean? And you really can't count on the receivers that Tom Brady has to be healthy. I mean, I think it might be time for, you know, Julio Jones and, you know, Green Bay just doesn't have the guys. So in the NFC, you would probably say the Rams are the other team. I'll give the defending Super Bowl uh, champs that respect. But other than that, I think we got to be the lead dogs in the NFC based on what America has seen. They may not want to say it, but they're going to have to soon. They're going to have to soon, Perez. So uh, that's that's my quick take on the Eagles, man. I couldn't be more excited. Um, so every, so uh, go ahead. in this game, in this game right here, I mean, yeah, y'all been scoring. Y'all been doing just doing having your way with teams, you know, kind of a little bit, you know, even uh, the first game we was going against Detroit, kind of slacking up a little bit, letting them kind of come back, but still finishing out the game. This game, y'all was dominant first. Yeah, I was dominant up front, continue like going after the, the Washington. But uh, on that scoring side, y'all kind of slacked up on this second half. Yeah. yeah are you, play are you worried what's going to happen when uh, these other teams get that tape and kind of figure out what Washington was doing in that second half to kind of stall y'all a little bit? No, not really, because I think it was a concerted effort to run the ball in the second half and to get the run game going uh, and get the running backs going. So I didn't really see too many deep threats in the second half, but I think it's just because we didn't have any fear of the offense moving the ball, to be honest with you. So that was time to practice, theoretically. So I don't think um, the commanders... I mean, you know what it is. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest, because I was thinking like, yo, the run... The Redskins. Oh, my fault. Come on, the man. Come on, racist. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Commanders fan. I don't know who. I mean, I got a few Commanders fans out there. You know, shout out to my own girl, Lisa. Shout out to my man, uh, Dan. Like, they ain't even hit me up about bets that we typically have, you know, often in the season to where we change, you know, little covers on Facebook. You know, something light. They ain't, they ain't, no, they ain't want no smoke this year. That's how I know we good. You know, because when people <laughs> avoid me and don't even don't even say that, like, this is stuff we've been doing for years. Like, they just avoided yeah. it. So, um, but yeah, I, I thought... I, do think it was just an opportunity for us to see where our run game is at because nobody really has gotten started um, as the lead back. I know we have three three backs and um, we run them for a reason because Miles Sanders is continuously hurt. However, I think it was good to give them the ball and try to see who could work best. And I don't think we was just trying to run it up on them, man, because we, we really could have. So uh, what's your thoughts on, you know, the game that's going on like right now as we watch this? Uh, I know y'all have been dominant uh, on your wins and all this little stuff where, where your offense have been, you know, showing the, that it can move and the defense have consistently got better uh, in each and every game. But uh, your record is 3-0. and You have a counterpart in your same division that could be 3-0 and here as well. A little bit different takes on it, but a win is a win. Loss is a loss and neither one of y'all got it. So, Say what you want to say. Y'all will be neck and neck, right? Yeah, yeah, we will be. We will be. But uh, I, I don't think Talking about the New York Giants. Giants too. and the uh, the Cowboys here. So uh, do you does anybody really fear either one of those quarterbacks in a close game or a game to where they got to make a play or two or several? I don't. I don't. And And even though Dallas has a great defense, in my opinion, they have a great defense or a formidable one that will give us some fits. You know what I mean? Because they do have some, some good corners. And of course, Micah is just a man amongst boys out there in his second year. So I do worry about that. But on the flip side, I have no doubt that we will get to that quarterback early and often. And we may just take, take the game over on defense ourselves. So they have to worry about that this year. You know what I mean? Um, before other teams, you could insert whatever quarterback, and these guys was going to have a decent time out there because we just couldn't do what we needed to do and f- as far as locking teams up that we were supposed to beat. So I think this year will be a change. Again, it's just early 3-0, and but we do have um, a, a easy schedule for the most part. But the, the important thing is we have to get these first nine games, I want to say, that we have, we have to win 
I mean, of course, you want to win all of them, but we have to dominate in the games we're supposed to win in order to, you know, get that confidence going. Giants, not worry about Daniel Jones at all. At all. Saquon Barkley, if he, you know, is healthy, absolutely. Um, that's that's the one area I will say, if if anything, was the run game. Detroit gave us fits um in the run game throughout the game. So that's that's probably the one thing I'll be worried about. But I'm not worried about Dallas or or not, New York, not if I'm being honest. Danny Dallas. All no, right, man. No. That's enough. I'm I'm tired of seeing you so happy. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> let's let's talk about these Raiders, man. <laughs> before before do you want to get into do you want to bring our guests in before you get to yeah, get let's, on the Raiders? Let's bring our guest in and then we'll go back. Yes. Finally left with the plan fit. Never trust your sus. We define what's real. Shuffle shit to losses. You know the deal. It was never an option, let me submit. It was never an option, skip a bit. Got low, mindset of a Navy Sid. Took my queen off the board, now we move freely.